Yo, what is up guys? How's it going? So today I'm at the Stronghold of Security and I'll be showing you different safe spots on each level. You can use this to train, you can use this to do Slayer, you can use this to get the different pieces for the Skull Scepter. Use this to your discretion, um, use it for range, use it for magic, whatever you want. But this is my favorite safe spots in the Stronghold of Security. There might be some more that I missed, but I know for sure these will be the best ones for you to use. So starting off, this is a little guide if you're looking for a specific level for a safe spot, just go to that timestamp that I indicated. Also, it's kind of an overview of what I'm going to be doing in the video, uh, the different number of safe spots I'll be doing for each level, and the basically the type of monsters that will be the highest level for you to kill in that safe spot area. Alright, so naturally we'll start with the level 1 safe spots. I got four of them, as you can see on the map right now. The one circled in red is the current one. And as I move from each safe spot, I'll bring up the map again and you'll see which one I'll be talking about and it'll be circled in red. So the first area is just south of the entrance of when you enter the Stronghold of Security. You'll come down here and you'll see a fence and all you have to do is just range or mage over the fence and you can easily safe spot the goblins in this area. So the second area is just northeast of the first place I just showed you. And as you can see, they have a fence here as well. And the monsters that you'll find in this area are wolves and minotaurs. This is probably the place I've safe spotted the most on the level 1 stronghold of security area, killing minotaurs. Um, it's pretty chill, it's not too crowded, and there's a decent amount of monsters to attack. So going further down in the level 1 cave towards the middle, there's another safe spot. There are wolves and goblins in this area, and all you have to do is just range over the fence again. Um, not a lot of people go over here because there's no minotaurs, so if you're just looking for XP, this is a pretty good place to train. And it's pretty chill, there's not much action going on, so it's, it's pretty decent. So this last area is on the very southern east tip of the map. And I've actually never trained here before, I just figured this out making this video. And there's another fence here, but there's a ton of Minotaurs level 27 that uh, take up a lot of HP. And there's a lot of people training in this area, so I'm sure if you hop a little bit it'll be less crowded. But this is probably for sure the best area to train in the level 1 Stronghold of Security. Alright, so moving on to level 2, the first safe spot I will be showing you is on the north side of the map. It's a little bit more difficult than the level 1 safe spots because you just have a fence to shoot over. Here you're kind of basically using the size of the flesh crawlers to get them stuck behind various rocks or the side of the wall. If you kind of stand where I am right now, it's kind of like a dip in the map and they won't reach you. However, there's some instances where they can sneak in and attack you so make sure you have food but eventually after 15-20 minutes the aggressiveness of the flesh colors will go away so you can kind of position yourself better but uh, this is just one safe spot the second one I'm going to show you is a lot better and a lot easier to set up but uh, this is probably the second best you're going to get so the last area to safe spot on the level 2 stronghold of security is a very southern east part of the map and you will be standing in a corner right outside of a door and basically the place is so small that the flesh crawlers can't get through however you'll be able to shoot through it and safe spot them pretty easily now this place gets pretty crowded with other higher levels attacking them in the middle because all this area has is flesh crawlers but uh, you'll be safe just if you just hide in this corner, you kind of have to lure them in sometimes. But uh, yeah, this is probably the best safe spot you can get in level 2 Stronghold of Security. So we are now moving on to level 3 of the Stronghold of Security. And we have three safe spots for you to use. One of them will just be Scorpions. The other two is just Cataplaclons. So this first one, you'll kind of have to lure one behind this wall right here. There's kind of like a barrier for them. If they go out too far, they'll go back in the middle. But you have this whole area 
that's kind of like a safe spot. They won't go far out of their little pit. So if you can just kind of lure them out a little bit and then they'll get stuck and you can easily just attack them from there without taking any damage. So this second safe spot is just around the corner from the first one. And similar to the level 2 safe spot, you'll be standing in a corner by a door. And the way it works is that you'll be in this corner and then they won't be able to reach you from the size of the monster. So you can just stand in that corner and safe spot them very efficiently and pretty easy. Like this is a good place to AFK if you're looking for that uh, skull scepter piece for level 3. So this last safe spot is kind of a bonus. I actually never knew that this was over here until I kind of just started messing around. And so there's this area by these scorpions where you just stand by the door in the corner. And again, because of the size of the monster, it won't be able to hit you. So I don't know if you have a scorpion slayer task or you just kind of want to AFK scorpions then uh, try this spot out. I've, I've never known about this spot until I actually tested it out. So uh, use it however you want. All right, so moving on to the final safe spot. This is the only one I could find on the level four of the Stronghold of Security. There are a few that you can kind of range over the bones and skeletons, but this one's probably the most easiest to trap. Um, sometimes, there's Anakus that can kind of get trapped and you'll have to kill them. So make sure you have food. But after like 15-20 minutes, the aggro will go away. And it'll be a lot more easy to safe spot them. So if you don't know who Autumn Elegy is on YouTube, he had a free-to-play Ultimate Iron Man. And he got 99 range in this spot. Because the Anakus, they drop enough arrows for you to basically just keep on attacking and have a sustaining amount of arrows. Judging off that and judging off my experience, this is the best place for you to safe spot and probably the only good safe spot. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck on your training. Good luck on your luck. Good luck on your luck. Basically, let's hope you're not here forever trying to grind a certain item if you're going for the scepter or something. But yeah, if this video helped you at all, please give it a like. If you made it this far, um, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. That would mean a lot. Um, this is a little bit different video for you guys. But uh, yeah, hopefully this was informative. If I missed something, then please let me know. Try to make this as informative as possible. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.